Vaughn's channel, Sweatbox. We back, we live, we active. Yes, we are. And it's time for another Walking Dead review. Season 7, episode 14, The Other Side. Alright. I enjoyed this episode. Yeah, I enjoyed this episode. I was, I mean, like most Walking Dead episodes, I wasn't super crazy about it, but I liked the character development we got in this story. For you guys know, let me start with the, the episodes. Um two main storyline of Rosita and Sasha. Uh, that was basically the storyline was Rosita and Sasha going out heading towards the sanctuary so they can go snipe up Negan. And uh, <clears throat> the secondary story was the hillside. Uh, Jesus, Gregory, um, Daryl, and Maggie and Enid. Enid had uh, like two roles, two scenes. But uh, that was the whole episode. It had a cool opening of the five, the whole little five minute opening scene with no dialogue, just the music, and you get a feel of how Daryl's fitting in at the hilltop, as far as you know, what I'm saying just not speaking to Maggie and just just being really closed off. You're saying having to deal with the guilt of what happened between uh, of his involvement in Glenn's death. Not really involvement, but people want to blame him. I don't really blame him. I'd have punched Negan too. So, um, yeah, that was a tough one, but, um, <clears throat> the opening scene was good, I liked that, and I liked all the, uh, character development between Maggie and Daryl, they're seen down, so the saviors come, when the saviors come, and they have to hide, uh, I thought that was a really good scene, I thought that was, I mean, I knew Daryl wasn't gonna kill the dude, but I like how they implied that Daryl was gonna kill the dude, and I was like, yeah, and Maggie's like, no. And then that scene where she was like, you don't even look at me, yada, yada, yada. It was just, that was a really good scene. I enjoyed that scene. Daryl's such a, he's such a good actor. Norman Reedus is such a good actor. He played that scene perfectly. I love that scene. Um, and then the scenes with Simon, a.k.a. Trevor, from uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, <laughs> all the scenes with Simon and Gregory were awesome. I love how... Gregory tried to show a drop of testicular fortitude and, and, and push back on him taking the doctor and he just immediately shut that down. He's like, all right, all right, all right, I don't want no beef. I don't want no beef. You don't want no beef. You don't want no beef. That's what Simon said. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking tonight. I got jokes all over the place. Um, yeah. So I liked every Simon. First, every time Simon's on the show, I love it. I don't think they use him enough. But they do use them enough. They use them just enough. No, they don't. No, they don't. I'm lying to myself. I want more Simon scenes. But, um, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that. And then finally, let's get to uh, Rosita and Sasha. You've heard me complain for the last couple of weeks how I'm just not a fan of how they're doing Rosita's character. Well, this is where I have to confess I was wrong. They did a, that is a good, that is what the dev, what, what has just happened with Sasha's character arc, I mean with Rosita's character arc, is what I call good character development. And I didn't see it. I was very critical of it, and maybe it wasn't all, it wasn't 100% flawlessly executed, but overall, I enjoyed it. I am going to give the devil its due. I like where that paid off at the end. This, the frustration build up, and then the final release of that talk that she had with Sasha and then Sasha's ultimate sacrifice is like hey, you gotta live, you, you're too smart, you know how to disarm bombs, hot wire cars, snipe niggas up you can just do it all and you're drop dead gorgeous too yeah you can't die <clears throat> see this whole thing was a toss up between who cause I like both of those characters I actually do like both of those characters Rosita's character had pissed me off but that's the reason why I was so pissed off cause I had liked her character so much up until these last couple episodes where she was cr acting crazy and I've always liked Sasha's character Sasha's a dope character and because I really liked her brother uh I can't remember her brother's name right now but he was cutting on the wire so uh he, he, was, he was dope but and aside from how much I like both of their characters they're both Drop dead gorgeous women. Both of them are beautiful women. They don't. Here's the thing about it. They do Rosita up where the gear that she wears and stuff. You're saying sometimes she be having her hair in like ponytails and stuff. So that looks like makes, they don't be letting Sasha look as hot as Sasha can look. Because outside of that show, Sasha is a 
drop dead beautiful woman, gorgeous, just beautiful woman. And they, and she's still hot on the show, but man, they be they be trying to cover up how hot she is on the show. You know, I don't, yeah, that's fine. That's not even important as far as her character development, what she looks like. That's not important. But um, she's a beautiful woman. Um, but this episode, I love where it paid off with their uh, with the story with Rosita's character. I actually so I give them credit, and I will take back not take back all the things, but I will ease up on the negative things that I said in the past about Rosita's performance this season. It paid off. It was good. We got some good payoff for some stuff from the. We wanted to know how people felt after the deaths of Glenn and Abraham. We got some. Full, I think we've gotten full closure on that now. Maggie and uh, Daryl have had their moments. Sasha and, Mer and Rosita have had their moment. The two closest people to each of those individuals. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I like this episode a lot. And then the final <laughs> rabbit in the cap of the things we're going to close it out with. Your boy Eugene... <laughs> just proving how much of a sucker ducker he is. They run into him, not even by, just by chance, they run into Eugene, Sasha and Rosita run into Eugene when they're breaking into the Sabres compound. They're like, come on, come with us. We're getting you out of here. He's like, no, I didn't ask you to come. I'm the man around here. <laughs> I'm not going back to just being a gate watcher. I'm the man around here. Straight mystical voice. That's what he said. I'm not going nowhere. I am Negan, and Negan's about to snitch on y'all. <laughs> oh, and so then Rose, and then Sasha uh, cuts the hole in the fence and locks it back up and tells Rosita, you're too important. You got to go. Get out of here. And then runs in there and starts murdering fools. Straight 007 golden eye style. First dude runs out the door. Then you just hear her running. I mean, it goes down. She's obviously going to get murdered. There's just no way she lives through this. So that was, we've, it hasn't been officially, but maybe they'll save actually showing it till next week. But Sasha's done. She's dead. She's dead. If she lives through this, this will be another, this will be another Glenn under the dumpster moment where I'm like, I'm done with the show. So don't do that. Good writing. Sasha's dead. Went out like a true gangster. I like that. Um,. Yeah, so that's what I thought about this episode. Good episode overall. Enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Good, good job, AMC. Two episodes left. Well, yeah. Is it two episodes or one? No, yeah, it's two episodes. It's all, yeah. Two episodes left until the season finale. And two episodes left, including the season finale. Next week and then the season finale. You guys knew what I meant. Stop acting like you didn't know what I meant. All right. It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn's channel, Sweatbox. Until next time, you know how we do. Peace. One out of y'all.